Welcome to Faith for Living, a true foundation. Lesson one, I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is, if you do not believe, you will die. The lesson scripture is found in John chapter 8, verses 21 through 30, and that reads, Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things, and he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. The memory verse is, I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. And that's John chapter 8, verse 24. The key terms, believe, it means to think to be true, to be persuaded of, to credit, place confidence in. Sins means that which is done wrong. Sin, an offense, a violation of, of the divine law in thought or an act. Father, the Father of Jesus Christ, as one whom God has united to himself in the closest bond of love and intimacy, made acquainted with his purposes, appointed to explain and carry out among men the plan of salvation, and made to share also in his own divine nature. The suggested emphasis Belief that Jesus Christ is the Son of God is literally a matter of life and death. Jesus once again asserts the validity of his testimony. After the encounter with the Pharisees and the woman caught in adultery, Jesus found occasion to teach in the temple. According to John chapter 8, verse 20, he taught near the area where offerings were kept. The Pharisees unsuccessfully challenged Jesus concerning the woman's sin and his knowledge of Mosaic law. Not willing to accept defeat, they challenged Jesus as he taught a group of people about himself and his deity. Jesus' statement in verses 23 and 24 echo two essential truths that Christians must grasp today. First, we are in the world, but not of the world. This is a key difference between believers and non-believers. There is a deeper meaning than simply distinguishing between people caught up in worldliness and materialism, and those who are not. According to 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, 
The world is Satan's domain. Those who reject Jesus as the promised Messiah are not children of God. Their father is the devil. This is the second great truth of this text. Where was Jesus teaching in this lesson text? What happened prior to his teaching in the temple? And do you think this fueled the Pharisees' efforts to discredit and kill Jesus? What are the two truths discussed in this text? And how would you explain them to a non-believer? How does John chapter 8 verse 24 challenge the claim that salvation is a doctrine developed by man to coerce people to follow the Christian faith? People observing the exchange between Jesus and the Pharisees came to believe in Jesus. Should Christians invite more opportunities to present and defend the gospel in public forums? The only foundation of truth that is sure and lasting is built upon Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And if you are not saved, the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God hath freed Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. The scripture says, For with heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. God, we thank you for this lesson. You are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the new salvation. We thank you for the new souls being saved and brought into the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. We believe you and we trust you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.